welcome to Carousel Trash Talk, a vlog series that focuses on trash talk. Like, obviously. I'm Iris, and since the studio workers are practically useless now, I am your temporary host. Without further ado, let's dive into this hackathon project. Today, we participated in an event hosted by Health Hacks. It is not your ordinary hackathon. It is, unlike the ones we participated in before, a global health event for all kinds of people to participate in. You can be a student or you can be a professional. Everyone is welcomed at this event. To start off, we followed the guideline of PLTW's engineering design process. So we made a table to define our problem statements. The problem table is right here. The second wave is coming. How can we get people prepared? So we did some brainstorming. Here are some features that we think we want to include in our design. Inspired by Be Cool Fever Patches, cooling gels. Antimicrobial layer infused with peppermint oil. Cotton silk, hand sanitizer, and water-based moisturizer. And strings that tie in the back instead of loops behind the ears. The CC stands for Concept Customizable. We then drew sketches and tried to develop a solution to all the problems we brainstormed. And now, introducing our customizable face mask concept, the CC93. Filters. According to PenLive, all customizable face masks should have a layer of filter for the filtration of bacteria and air particles. We decided to include three layers to maximize protection. First off, what is the most common type of filter? Coffee filters. According to DisturbingNot.co, Americans consume roughly 146 billion cups of coffee per year. Just imagine how many coffee filters an average American would need each year. Coffee filters are easily accessible materials that are also recommended by multiple websites across the internet. Although coffee filters' fibers composition is less organized, we will use two layers of coffee filters to achieve the level of protection we want. The third layer is the average HEPA filter. Usually, a HEPA filter is 20 inches by 20 inches. If the size of the face mask is 6.75 inches by 3.5 inches, a HEPA filter can make at least 16 masks. The cost of this product is affordable, at around $20 a piece. The mask. According to Medium, a mask should be anywhere from 18 to 20 centimeters for men and 12 to 14 centimeters for women and children. After we break down our mask design into several parts, the question is what material should we use to create a lightweight, breathable, and comfortable cover? Previously, we talked about coffee filters and HEPA filters. We also considered other materials to work with. We first contemplated on using silk and cloth, but later found out that the fiber is too thick. Those thick fibers create air bubbles, allowing certain molecules to pass through. Ultimately, we learned the process of making a face mask that is similar to N95 through Tuna's video on YouTube. Non-woven polypropylene, or simply NWPP, is a cheap material that is easily accessible. Additionally, Smart Bags Company from the UK stated that NWPP is a polymer that can form into different shapes when melted, but more importantly, it is recyclable. The Elastic Bands Surely everyone has experienced the irritation behind your ears after wearing a mask for a long period of time. Some solutions are as follows. Option 1 is to use a clip to hold the face mask ear loops. For a quick replacement, use a paper clip. However, the look isn't too appealing and the back of your head may start to hurt after a while. The second option is to tie the strings behind your head, which is convenient without any additional costs. Nonetheless, just by tying the strings behind your head may not be strong enough. The strings will loosen and your mask could fall off. Lastly, you can use fabric in place of elastics. The 2D fabric design would fit your face smoothly and won't rub the area behind your ears. Nevertheless, using fabric would mean the length would be need to be customized to the user, or else it could be too loose or too tight. The check valve. 
The check valve we decided to use is based off of the N95 mask. We, we believe that simplicity is always a key element in terms of engineering. This check valve has an uncomplicated design with a 0.85 inches base plate that can be ironed with the NWPP. It is 0.75 inches tall and has a 0.65 opening and a 0.50 stopper. When you breathe out, you pressure the stopper and prevent it from completely blocking the 0.65 opening. In addition to that, we use the same three layer filtration mechanism introduced in the mask itself. We also added some peppermint oil to reduce the odor, so you are guaranteed fresh air every time you breathe. At least it smells like fresh air. As you can see, the design of the valve is rather simple. All you need to do is click the link in the description. You then will need to borrow a 3D printer to manufacture these in any color of your choice. Though we might make a separate video explaining how we make this prototype. Moisturizer and odor erase. Moving on to some final touches, we understand that after multiple uses of a mask, it starts to smell. The scent mainly comes from the bacteria from sweat and bad breath, so something more than peppermint oil is necessary. For the moist membrane, we will be using hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer gives you a nice scent and of course a good antibacterial layer. More importantly, it has a cooling effect. In conclusion, our product is a Mythbuster concept that's worth a try. Innovative Face Mask, PD93, Plague Doctor. We adapted Apple's The More Is Better strategy. This PD93 mask has four check valves. It's also painted in black, so it looks trendier. Honestly, it's 1 a.m. and we have no idea whatsoever. And yes, we use Google Drawing to use this demo. Hail capitalism. <laughs> Thank you for listening.